Hello YouTube, EasygoingMC back with another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this redstone contraption right here. So as you can see, there's a lot of repeaters, redstone torches, droppers, hoppers, and of course the key component are these brewing stands. But what you see right in front of you is in fact an automatic brewer. So it is, there's a lot of features about this. I had to make drawbacks on some, and I'll explain in just one second. But the first things first is you can turn off Dragon's Breath and Gunpowder, because that just plays into what I'm going to show you. So for example, on Healing Potions, we're going to want no Dragon's Breath. We're just going to have to be Splash. On every single other one, well, let's just have it be on, except, let me just look for one that's, Except, say, on which one is it? On this one right here, strength, we don't want any gunpowder or dragon's breath, so we just turn that gunpowder off. So, there we go. So, I'll explain all that in a second, but that's for, just keep in mind that this will be splash and then the strength will be normal. Every other one will be lingering. And we're going to activate this system real quick just to show you guys how it works. So, yeah, let's just take a look right now. So, as you can see, it all kicked into action. Well, there will be about 20 something water bottles in here 24 to be exact and Yeah, now they're all brewing up as you can see they're all put in this hopper in order and yeah, it works quite nicely So now let's get talking about the design choices. I made this design It actually is possible to put next to each other believe it or not. Uh, it's a little more complicated but it is doable it, the only cutback is Every time you want to load up the droppers, you'd have to remove either something from the back, back of it, or to like move the hoppers in front of it. So it'd be a little bit of a pain. And personally, I thought that having one extra block wasn't that useful because then the blaze powder could be right here on the floor as well. Because otherwise, it'd have to be through the back, which is possible. It's just a little more difficult. Uh, secondly, um. Once again, all these droppers are activated quite easily. With the, You can easily access them. You can also climb up this ladder and easily access these levers to turn off Dragon's Breath and such, and Gunpowder. Also, if you turn off Gunpowder, it also turns off Dragon's Breath, so you don't have to worry about any cross-contamination where you have a Dragon's Breath coming through but not Gunpowder. So yeah, it works really well. Uh, it's five droppers high. Uh, another feature of this is the timing system. Is actually designed so if you turned gun I accidentally of course did that wrong um I never turned it back on but uh it has five sets of 27 so in case you turned off all the gunpowder and all the dragon's breath then technically speaking you could remove one of the sets of 27 from that and just make it slightly faster that's another feature and also it's quite compact it's quite slim I mean you have a little bit more extra coming out the back on the very bottom, but for the most part, it's very slim and can slot into a lot of places. And overall, it's quite a good design. Um, it's quite easy also to modify this to switch out ingredients because these are the only time it's going to change is this. So all it takes is to do that, and you're done basically. So yeah, I quite enjoy it. Uh, now let's get into the tutorial. Uh, you'll see in just a couple minutes that all the potions do come out correctly. I'm pretty sure this is all brewed up now. Yeah, we're just going to speed this up a little bit. Just because I didn't turn it on, unfortunately. So let me just stick that in. As you can see, all the potions will come into here. As you can see, we're getting the normal strength and the resistance. And three more water bottles will come through, and we'll get all that. Another benefit is completely silent, except for the small piston noises back there, which are hard to hear if you're up here anyways. Let's get into the tutorial now. Sorry for that long, drawn-out explanation. But the first thing you're going to need is essentially hoppers, chests, trap chests, and, of course, brewing sands to lay that foundation. So you're going to build this a couple blocks. You'll need a couple blocks under the brewing stands. But yeah, we'll just be building this over here, away from that one. So you want to start off, of course, by placing a hopper. And placing a brewing stand on top. And then this line right here is going to be our like line that takes all the potions. So you just want to place as many hoppers as you need in here. I'm not really sure how many modules we're going to be building in this tutorial. 
but it should be enough. And then what you want to do is you want to place in, we'll just add an extra module right here. One more module. Or you know what, let's just cut it back to six. Six is a good number for this tutorial. All right, we're just going to cut it back to six, but you can, this is fully expandable. And at the end of this, just place a chest. That's your output. Like you make it a giant storage system like I'm going to do in my survival world at some point. Place brewing stands on all those hoppers with one block gap in between them like so. Then come through and place hoppers into the front of each of them. And then come around the side and then either into the right or left, it's up to you. Just place in another hopper like so. And place a chest right here. And a trap chest right here. Chests, of course, it doesn't really matter what order you put them in. Trap chests. I would say put the ones that are going in the side, like this trap chest, just because this is your water bottle chest and you don't want to accidentally mess anything up if you're opening that chest while it's going. Then you want to place hoppers on the top of it, like so. And then you want to place a bunch of more hoppers. So you want to place three hoppers on top, like so. And then we're going to place in some droppers. So then next we're going to place in droppers because now that's a, when it gets a little more difficult. So get your droppers, of course, and you can place temporary blocks out the back like so. And just place droppers running into each of these hoppers like so. So I'm going to do that real quick, guys, and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay guys, so once you've placed in all the droppers behind that, what you want to do is place one more hopper on top and then place a temporary block right here. So I'll kind of show you with this one and repeat. So place a hopper right there, then place a dropper like that, break the temporary block and just do that for all of them. Next, what you want to do is place one more hopper on top of all of those and then two more on top of all of those once again. And then place one more going into the side like this. Then place some temporary blocks coming out the back, like so. Place in, basically go around, placing your droppers like so. So quite easy, quite easy. There you go. Done and dusted. And the next thing you want to do is, of course, place in some blocks right here. So we're going to use smooth sandstone just to make it look a little nicer. This is where your ladders are going to be essentially. And just basically wrap it up like so. And yeah, you can do that for all of them. I'm not going to do that. I actually, I'll do it real quick. Why not? So yeah, just wrap it up. Wrap it up like this on all of the sides. And then we're going to get started on the redstone once you've done this. Although this might look really confusing, the redstone behind this is actually quite easy and repeats itself. So I think you guys will find it pretty easy to do. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come down here and just place a row of blocks like so. So like in line, so one block gap between these hoppers. And then basically in front of all those hoppers, place a redstone torch like so, so it's locking that hopper. So if it had a water bottle in here, it wouldn't be able to go through. Break the blocks without the torches. Uh, that was basically just to make it a little easier on yourself to place it. So then do the same, except instead you're going to place repeaters now and going into those blocks, all set on one tick, like so. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to come up like so, and you're going to place a row of blocks once again. And you're going to keep them all because you're just going to put redstone dust on all of them like so. Next, what you want to do is you want to come right here and kind of place a row of blocks once again coming down the line. And it might get a little tricky um, to get in there. It's a little tight. What you want to do is just place a torch like this so it powers at the spencer. Like so. Like so. Like so. And like so. And like so. There we go. So now I'm going to show you for two what you're going to do for the, all of your modules. So what you're going to do is just build up a torch tower like so. So essentially you're powering every single dropper. 
like that. And you're just going to end it there. And you're going to do the same for all the sides. So the way this works is the torch powers the dropper right in front of it. And then we place a block above it that's also getting powered. So for example, in this step right here, it's powering that. And it's also powering that one up there. So you might have to break a couple blocks. Um, it's just the way it is. And then, yeah, so just do that for all of your modules. Okay, guys, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is place in repeaters going into these blocks like so. So I'll show you with these two modules. Just place in repeaters going into it like so, like that. And then place from redstone dust like that. So it's quite easy indeed. I'm just going to pick up these items real quick because they're really distracting me. Um, so there we go. Um, what you want to do on the other side is on these hoppers that are on the same axis as these droppers, place in a row of blocks like this, and then just place repeaters going into it with redstone on the back. So it's actually quite easy indeed. Now on one side of it, just place... So now we're going to have to hook all these up, so it's actually quite easy. So we're going to hook this side up first, so somewhere in the middle. doesn't really matter where, to be honest. Just place some redstone dust like that. And then what you want to do is, on the side that doesn't really have, it doesn't really matter. I prefer to do this on the side that doesn't have your output, just because it's a little easier. Just place in a row of blocks, basically some blocks just coming down like this, with redstone dust right here, or Peter right there. And then just it comes down like that, essentially. So yeah, that works out perfectly fine. There we go. So this will activate essentially once th this will act this is like in the same time because you have the two ticks. So the only thing is if you have a redstone, actually I'll explain that later, but make sure these are all hooked up like at the same time. So if your redstone signal ends on only one of these, make sure you add a repeater on all of them after that, because you want them all to be all these lines be activating at the same time or could actually screw up the system. So for example, right here, we're just going to make this be our point of no return. So say that's where our line ended, which will make more sense in a second. We want all we want that the module to be delayed on all parts of it. And it's most important for these two. Those have to be in sync. So the next part we're going to do is the timing circuits. You're almost done, I promise. What you want to do is place some redstone dust right here, place a repeater right here, uh, place a couple blocks like so, and then place some redstone dust right here, block to stop that from getting in the way, place in block like this, block like that, redstone dust right here, have a block on it once again, a block right here, a repeater set on four ticks right there, sticky piston facing up with a block on its face, and then redstone dust right here. So next, what you want to do is place a redstone block right here. As you can see, everything kicks into action. This will be eventually turned off, and a bunch of dispensers activate as well. So what you want to do next is place in two hoppers right here, like so. Place in your sticky piston right Here, it's a little difficult because that copper. There we go. Right there. Doesn't really matter which side you do this one. We're just building an etho hopper clock, so it's actually quite easy. Um, so just place in another sticky piston right there. Place in a comparator right there. A block right here. And then a block up like this. Place redstone dust right here and a comparator. Then just repeat that on this side. So it's quite easy. Just do that, redstone dust, and then a comparator. So then what you can do is you want to place in all of this right here, and you're almost done now. So just place in sets of 27 items, five of them to be exact. So I like naming them one, two, three, four, five, but I didn't do that just to save time for this case. And you can add a lever right there to turn it off when you're not when it's not in use, which brings me to a good point. You do not want to use this thing. Don't leave it permanently running. Turn it off when you're unloading chunks or locking out. Because I found out when then chunks are unloaded, it resets brewing time. So then you're, the entire system will get messed up. And it'll, you'll have to go through and clear stuff. 
So you don't want to do that. The only other thing you need to do now is place in levers right here above this dropper and then levers on top of all these droppers. And you'll actually be good to go. So now what you need to do is just load in blaze powder and all these side chests right here that are going to the side of the brewing stand. And then in the front ones that are going into the front, you're just going to want to place this lock, right? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure I turned off. You're just going to place water bottles in here. And then your ingredients in here. So, of course, nether wart on the bottom one. Main ingredient right here. Redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, dragon's breath, or even gunpowder and a fermented spider eye. It doesn't really matter. Just put it, the ingredients in the correct order for five ingredient potions. Other than that, guys, though, this tutorial is complete, minus all the aesthetics. You can add some ladders, some extra blocks, of course. And yeah, you can also add more for the output. You probably need more than one chest, I assume. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below and make sure to subscribe. And other than that, have an easygoing day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.